I ended up bringing this farther in than I wanted to and I regret it. It's fine. It's not fine. I'm fixing it. <laughs> I am so excited to do this look today. I couldn't decide between doing my eyes first or doing my base first. Then I finally decided I did my base first. We don't have room to mess up. Hopefully we can do it right on the first go. I found a few reference pictures on Pinterest. I practiced it once before and I got the general shape down. So I can't wait for my graphic liners to come in the mail. I'm still waiting for them. I'm also still waiting for my P. Louise to come in the mail. So I just did my regular priming with concealer and then I set it with set powder because that's the only thing that works for me to make it not crease. That's what I primed my eyelids with. So I have two different liners here. The NYX Epic Wear felt tip liner definitely lasts a lot longer for me, but I did buy the e.l.f. felt tip liner because it's easier to fix my mistakes. I use it as like a practice eyeliner versus this because when I draw a line with the Epic Wear one, it dries really quickly and it's hard for me to fix my mistake with like a Q-tip or something in this one. A little bit more forgiving. Like I wouldn't use this to wear every day, but if I use the e.l.f. one and then maybe go over it with this where I need to. So I'm using the e.l.f. one first just in case I mess up. It's important to remember when you're doing any type of eye look with hooded eyes, you need to be looking straight on because really you're not going to see any of this in here. There's no point in even paying attention to it right now. This is the only lid space that we have to work with. I'm nervous. <laughs> Butterfly eyeliner, here we go. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna have to draw over my eyebrow. <sighs> so the crease of my hood starts like right here. So I'm gonna go a little bit below that and work my way up to this point to make the first main wing. My skin always drags with eyeliner no matter what. The key is just patience. You can go and fill in those little skidded dots later, it's fine. Also, by going kind of underneath my bottom lash line, it's gonna make the bottom wings easier to connect, I think, so. Okay, this is our main top line for the wing. So I'm gonna start to bring that into where I want it. I don't think I'm gonna go past right here, maybe, because I don't want it to get too lost, but we'll see. Okay, I always hold my breath when I do my eyeliner. I would suggest doing the same if you can because it, it helps with having your hand to be steadier. So I'm only raising my eyebrow a little bit. See how it's like dragging a bit here? I'm just gonna raise my eyebrow a little bit so I can fill that in, but you need to try not to make the line any thicker while you're at it. So it's a good start. Now we need to make a second line so we can start doing the swoops on the inside and filling in where we need to. Now you have to do it fairly close to this one, but you don't wanna go too close to where you can't make shapes on the inside. If we don't go too close it's just gonna get lost in our crease right here so i think i'm gonna start from the inside over here so i can go thicker and then thinner to about right here So you can see it's it's sitting right, right above my crease i'm gonna start here and kind of bring a swoop in right here I'm gonna switch to NYX Epic Liner now because this, this sucks. Elf, this sucks, man. I'm gonna fill that little shape in. I'm just gonna clean up my outer lines and swoop with this eyeliner since the elf one wasn't doing what I wanted it to do really. We're gonna do a little C shape and connect these two lines. She's a little thick. So I made a C shape and then I kind of elongated the edge of it right here so it blended into the other lines. Okay, now this swoop is probably gonna be a little bit more difficult, but we're gonna try. Keep it small and thin. And if yours doesn't turn out exactly like mine, it's fine. You know why? All butterfly wings, they look different, okay? They have different colors, they have different shapes on the insides of them, so it's okay. Okay, now there's one more swoop up here that we're gonna try to do that's kind of in between these two, so if we can fit it, we'll try. Okay, now we're gonna fill in this top area right here. Okay, so now we have kind of our butterfly shape happening. I'm actually gonna make this one a little bit thinner looking. Like that. Now, here's a little bit of a tricky part. We're gonna have to make eyeliner going into this right here. 
It's not being too bothersome by my crease yet, but I'm going to bring this in a tiny bit farther and across my lid as well. When I go across my lid like this, I like to lean my head back and get right on my lash line and make it really, really thin because if I make it any thicker, then you're not gonna be able to see a gap between this bottom line and my eyeliner on my lash line. I like to use the side of my pen as well instead of like the tip of it and kind of drag it across like this. Quite happy with that, I think. So now, I think I'm gonna do eyeshadow and color these in how I want and then do eyeshadow underneath and then I'm gonna draw the bottom wings and then we'll fill those in afterwards. So let's pick some colors or pick whichever ones you want. I am gonna go in with this palette. It's the Morphe Nyanae, Nyanae? Nyanae? Is that how you say her name? But for the sake of my um, hot pink hair, I'm gonna go in with this shade first. Gorgeous Gangsta on the outside here. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, Eye Roll. So it's gonna do like blue to pink, which I think is gonna be really pretty. I saw a TikTok. They dipped the, the brush in micellar water first, and then they kind of went on the edge here and made a little paste, and then put the eyeshadow on, and it's way more pigmented that way and I tested this and it worked out so well. I used the Garnier what is this? Whatever. Micellar cleansing water. I took the cap off and I'm just gonna dip my brush right in there. Pack this color in right here. It's okay if you get on your eyeliner. We're gonna have to go in and make it more precise anyway. Since this is gonna kind of fade, I'm gonna pack this in a little bit over here and then kind of fluff it out with a fluffy brush and then I'm gonna take some blue up here and kind of do half and half. I think for out here, I'm gonna go in with like a flat, a little bit bigger brush, just so I can like kinda follow this line up here. Pack it in where I want. I'm gonna kinda dry the brush off a little bit so that we don't have such a harsh line going on here and then kinda blend it out. If you don't have one of these already, I would highly, highly suggest doing it, especially if you love doing eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow swap pan. In between doing different eyeshadow colors, you just take your brush, dust it in here, and you have a clean brush for the next color that you're doing. I think drying this off very slightly with a towel before going into your eyeshadow helps it not be so wet going on your eye. I'm gonna follow this line down. I'm not going to bring it out to where my nose is. I'm just going to follow this straight down into my inner corner. Now I'm going to start overlapping this into the pink a little bit. If you go too far, you can always add a little bit more pink and kind of go back and forth and blend it until you're happy with it. I'm going to go in with the dry part of the shadow and blend it a little bit more. I'm even going to take a smaller, clean, fluffy brush and kind of blend it very slightly. I think that's good. I think I'm gonna do blue and then pink on my lash line right here. I'm gonna wet the brush down for that as well just so there's more pigment. Let's get right up in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the dry eyeshadow in blue and blend the middle out. I think that's pretty good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now grab your liner again and I'm gonna go over the spots that were covered in eyeshadow and then we'll do the bottom wings. I ended up bringing this farther in than I wanted to and I regret it. It's fine. It's not fine. I'm fixing it. <laughs> All right, now that we're done with that, we're gonna do these bottom wings. They didn't turn out like the best last time, so I'm gonna do them a little bit smaller. Hopefully, we can do it. I kind of made this curve into it. I'm very much questioning this shape, but there's nothing we can do about it now, so. Fill in this bottom part. Why is my eyeliner bleeding? I think I'm just gonna make both of these pink. Now go back over those lines with eyeliner. Okay, now I'm gonna take the NYX Epic Liners, the brush applicator ones. I have a white one and a black one here. We're gonna do some little details with these. I don't know where to stop really. I'm gonna do some on the bottom too, like that. I'm gonna put on some mascara, some lashes, and I'm gonna go do this other eye and hopefully it'll turn out just as good as this one. So I will be back. 
Okay, bestie, you you better hit that freaking subscribe button because I want to keep making tutorials like this for you guys because I know you can do it, okay? This is how it turned out. The other eye took way longer for some reason, but whatever. First of all, I'm so incredibly proud of myself and if you tried this, you should be proud of yourself too. I ended up going in with some white eyeliner here on the inner corners, but y'all, just because you have hooded eyes doesn't mean you can't do freaking cool makeup, okay? I styled mine with some little bubble ponytails here. Oh, lashes. I know it's hard to find eyelashes that look good with hooded eyes. My favorite right now are the Kiss Lash Strip in Drenched. Always cut your lashes from the outside. I usually like mine to sit right about here where my iris would end. But that does bring us to the end of the video. If you end up trying this look for yourself, tag me in all of your pictures. I would love to see them. All of my socials are linked in the description box below. My Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, my Twitch if you want to jump into a live stream with me one day. I do short one minute tutorials on TikTok and Instagram as well. Make sure you give me a follow on all those other platforms and if you like this video please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn the notification bell on as well so you don't miss any of the new tutorials that I'm going to come out with. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Go drink some water. Make sure you eat something. Love you. Bye.